Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World for a beautiful post-holiday day. I've noticed that the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover seems to be running. It's been closed for so, so long. It's not boarding guests yet, but it's really nice to see it running. Let's have some coffee and have a nice day. Pretty much slurp that down in one second. How about you, Adam? Still got a little left? I had to slurp mine a little slower because mine was <laughs> a little warm. Yours is piping hot, mine's piping cold. But we're both really enjoying the view, right? I'm my time though. I'm not in any hurry to yeah. walk away from this amazing view. Not at all. We love to see this. As soon as I walked in and saw it, I just got so happy. And you can see like this track, that track, or portion of the track, that portion, and that portion over there, all moving. Oh, it's so nice. Like Tomorrowland is alive again. It's alive! There's no indication that People Mover is going to open for guests today. It's probably just running and testing, but we really don't know. It could open any minute, later this week. We just don't know. And again, it's just nice to see it running. When you see Astro Orbiter spinning and the People Mover on its track moving, there's so much kinetic energy, so much movement here, and that's what Tomorrowland was meant to look and feel like. Even the elevator going up and down, it's like all moving together. Now that's Tomorrowland. Again, it's like levels of movement. In the I Conquered line, they've got this cute I Conquered the People Mover hat. They've got a few of these of I Conquered various rides. Usually slow moving rides are really funny. And then they've got this really cute People Mover shirt, which I will probably be getting. I love the music in Tomorrowland. Total opposite of just two days ago when it was gray and yucky. It's bluer than anything and glorious. We've been hovering in Tomorrowland, just watching the People Mover go by. And now I think it's time to probably, probably ride something. First stop, one-way ticket to adventure. The Jungle Cruise is back. Last time we were here, this was a Jingle Cruise, the Christmas overlay, and now it's back to regular old Jungle Cruise. So it's time to hop aboard the punniest boat in the business. Lines are pretty low. Oh, where? Oh yeah, that's by the <laughs> Doesn't want to let me. Doesn't want to let me tell my story about it's the low tarantula. lines today. It is a tarantula. Oh, Tree frog. Oh, what else? What else we got here? Uh huh. Uh huh. Snake, a venomous snake. Oh, very good. He's. A cruise I think that's blood. two shrunken Jungle heads right there. His choice. Oh my God, this leech stomp down there. That's Ooh. like a stand by me moment. I don't want any leeches. Good old fashioned old school radios back. They had it playing some like special holiday tunes. Now it's back to its good jazzy, regular music. Yes. Right behind me up at the front right here. Sure, thank you. You're welcome. I never sit on this side, right? I feel like we're on that side. I don't know what they're doing. Whoa. Whoa! Is this anybody's first time on the Jungle Cruise? My name is Skipper Brittany, and I'll be your skipper for as far as we get today. I don't know. We'll see. For your safety, do remain fully seated at all times. With your hands, arms, feet, legs, children, everything inside the boat. Face covering on at all times. Up above the nose, down under the chin. Don't make me come back there. <laughs> We're starting our cruise in the Amazon rainforest. Here it rains about 365 days a year. Pretty close to every day. Or something, I don't know, numbers are hard. <laughs> Insects, we call these margarine flies. And what you're thinking? Can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> don't blame me, I didn't make them. We're in the Congo River now, we'll see just how far we can go. <laughs> I don't see much of anything at all, you do? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's my base camp, and it looks like my family is still in town. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get rid of them? I don't know. <laughs> We're in the Nile River now. It's the longest river in the world. It goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. Oh. If you don't believe me, you're in... Denial! Thank you to the two people participating. <laughs> Jokes aren't getting any better. It'll be a long <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> I have never seen anything. Yeah, it could lead to danger. 
probably the treasure. Probably just a dead end. Let's find out. start the day. Also, Jungle Cruise during the day is always best. You can see the water glistening and everything's just clear as a bell. Ding! It's time for a delicious lunch at Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn. This is my favorite place to eat at Magic Kingdom. Pecos Bill is one of the fresher options that you can get here in Magic Kingdom. I got a chicken and rice bowl, Adam got fajitas. It's one of our favorites definitely and it's one of the more nutritious options. Fortified! Lunch was a success. Now back out into the park. The weather is beautiful. The sky's still blue. The crowds are low. This is a great time of year to visit. in and out of Tomorrowland for the rest of the day. It looks like the people mover stopped right now and we can see activity up there like cast members doing stuff. I don't know what. So we just want to look again. There it is. The trains are just kind of at various places on the track and they're doing stuff like I can hear hammering noises and stuff. Weirdly the people mover is closed for refurbishment. A frame sign has been moved kind of out into the table area. It was in front of the ride before. What does it mean? We're like searching for clues here. Doesn't mean anything, it's just a sign. <laughs> but it's cool to be on the hunt. They added one here too. Probably people keep coming up and asking whether it's open or not. I'm so glad we got here earlier and saw it moving around. It'll probably move again. Right now, I saw my like cast members and technicians kind of working on different pieces of the track, banging, doing stuff. It's kind of hard to see what they're doing from down here, but it definitely looks like they're putting on the final tweaks and getting the road ready to open soon. It's looking like it's going to be maybe January 30th, maybe around the end of January, but honestly it really might happen earlier. But very, very nice to have seen it moving around. Oh yeah, there they are. So they've got like tools and stuff. They're doing little checks. It's moving. Now it is going along at a brisk pace. It is now going. Update. Listen to that noise it makes. Yeah. Pretty neat. We got to see it not only stop, <laughs> but also going again. That's cool. Oh, the music skipped too. Yeah, the music is, uh, oh. The music is, oh, they're making, oh, they're making an announcement. Couldn't understand what they said, but it was something. I hope next time they say, Jackie, Adam, come on aboard. Go reverse. Now it's going in reverse. It's there. going backwards. <laughs> this is like a. It's testing. People mover testing 2021. It's exciting. This is <laughs> this is thrilling. What's the next development? We just noticed that they've got the social distancing spacing stickers. It's interesting though, because this is an escalator, so it's kind of like always moving, unless they're gonna have the escalator off and have people walk and wait at certain points. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to, right? Start there and you just- You know what always happens at the top, it always bottlenecks and right. you bump into the person in front of you. Yeah. Every time. Interesting. Another nice loop around Tomorrowland and now we're gonna head into Fantasyland. Switcheroo. Fantasyland by way of Cinderella Castle. Okay, I'm gonna check the Triplets now. That's all your birthday. Triplets. That would make your triplet. She says yes, you say no. Cinderella stepsisters are out. It's not my birthday. It is my birthday. I don't want to age. Holly, you do have a birthday. How precious. Hey, okay, so those are usually get out tickets uh, left out of all the tickets I get displayed. A lot of cavalcades, a lot of characters, music and stuff going through the park all day long. 
You got this. You know the song. That's how it goes. <laughs> the rivers of America still empty and there's construction going on over on the island. So this is scheduled to go on a little bit longer. There's kind of a lot happening at once with the train and this and the people mover. This game is going away really soon. I'm gonna try to come out and play it before it does. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We were gonna try, it's a small world. The lines have gotten pretty long later into the afternoon. My theory is that with park hopping, maybe in the afternoon more people have hopped over to Magic Kingdom because lines were really short earlier. And then a little bit after two, three, they went up. It could be a coincidence. I don't know, it's just a theory. Captain, the captain's out. You gotta call him captain. That's cool. It is cool. 20 minutes maybe, so now we've got a full crew I'd say. Now we've got a pirate crew. I tell you what, you can't keep these crew on task. They're talking about parrots, they're talking about this and that. Just gotta get them, get them on task. Here we go! I can smell the ride water. Oh, except we're back outside. Whoops! Oh, we took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. We've got row number one. Numero uno. Okay, now this is the one. We're going to be in row number one on this one. Looks fairly dry. And watch your children. And no flash pictures. you got to get the middle seat if you want to stay dry. That's the way. <laughs> we're stuck. We stopped. Right at the beginning of the ride. Yeah, so they like turned off all these like water fountains here? Like right when we started? Is that what happened? Yeah. They just turned off the water. the water stopped moving and they made the announcement. Oh my gosh. And we're just sitting here. I just noticed this rock thing looks like a skull. Kind of like with eye and like oh, teeth, does. right? Good job. Never sat here and looked at it long enough. Probably too direct to come out on camera, but we just loaded. Like we loaded, we moved up like a few feet. And then... Oh. They're gonna reset this whole thing. They're gonna reset this whole attraction here in the boat. <gasps> it's a hard reset. Maybe a soft reset. I think we've been sitting here like a half the time we were in line, maybe. I actually don't mind sitting here. Yeah. That's fine. Nice. We're chilling. Any moment. Okay. Like we might get moved in here soon. They said any moment. That could mean that's like people mover status. Any moment from now till the end of the month. Okay. The water's turning back on. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Darn it. How we feeling, crew? Good. Good? You're the captain. Yeah. What's happening to the ship? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe oh! I timed it right! <laughs> yo ho, yo ho. <laughs> this is happening. I've never been so that happy. Like a half hour. We that was there. longer than we were in line, is for that a half sure. Hour? Maybe a half hour? It really break? felt like a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet caverns. They're saying the boats are going to move immediately, but we're already moving. Oh, they're just starting to move, and they cheered too. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your boats will be in motion immediately, so please remain seated for your safety with your hands and arms inside boat at all times. Thank you. Let's draw. Here we go. I think we're going to get wet. Oh! 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 Uh, okay, I'm good. We a little a little droplets on my knees, but I pretty got good. It on my side. But look! Yay! But it's not that it's the cannonball that we get the wet. Yeah, the cannonballs. Oh that smell, it smells so good. Whoa! That's a lot of splashes. Run up your white flag, you scurvy scum, and bring the captain sparrow. That's a lot of fun. the best smelling scene in any Disney attraction. 
journey uh, but you know we're pirates so we got through it we're done and now the park is our oyster that was like at least an hour thing it's always fun you know the park closes in about an hour so I think we're just gonna stick it out to park closing and see what we can do all oh, the lights turn on the Christmas lights are still up there's still Christmas lights all around and it's like a beautiful sunset out there coming in oh it's getting so cold we are so chilly and we're heading back into Tomorrowland we're back in Tomorrowland and it's still closed. It's not even moving anymore. It's not even moving anymore. So it looks like they're done testing for the day, but you know, we've seen some progress. And it surely soon will be reopening. Maybe I spoke too soon. They're doing some work again. Cool. I just love to see all the testing and progress. We're gonna take a quick look inside Star Traders. They've still got the whole Marie display in the front. Everything's so cute. More spirit jerseys. Oh, a denim like hoodie thing. Some of the same stuff and some new stuff. When it's cold, they put out a lot of the long sleeve stuff. Look at that cute stitch sweater. Cool. It's getting darker by the minute. It's 6 p.m. It's so beautiful out. We're gonna go into Storybook Circus and maybe ride something in here that we never ever ride. The Great Goofini Barnstormer. So this is in the like kids section. It's kind of a kid coaster, but everybody can ride it. Adam loves it. It's a fun one. I haven't ridden it since I came here with like a family, like family members that had a kid with them. You should go on it. Well, I'm going right now. Yeah. Let's go. Look at, Look at Tron. Now programming at Magic Kingdom. Wow. And here's part of the reason why the Walt Disney World Railroad isn't running right now. The train's not running because of all the Tron construction. Space Mountain looks so pretty behind it. We're gonna ride a tiny, tiny little coaster. Oh, big thrills today, big thrills. We're going all the way up. All the way up. Up, up, and away. kids of all ages the shorter kids who aren't tall enough to fit on some of the bigger coasters can ride this one and they really like it it's a really fun way to like introduce kids to roller coasters and it's really short fun for us Disney World fans theme park fans we like to see the progress and I love to share it with all of you as soon as the people mover opens as soon as I'm able to be here to go on a ride and bring you all for that ride I will be doing that of course and until then if there are any updates anything interesting happens 
I'll be there to bring you along too. And I appreciate you guys coming along. It was a really fun day hanging out with my friend Adam and my friend Nate. It's always great to spend time with friends. I appreciate all of my friends, all of you guys out there, all my friends, all the people who watch, all the people who support and show me love. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And I'm sending you all a lot of love and that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. So thank you again for watching and for joining me for all of the fun. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, keep your eyes on the future and stay enthused.